What's happening, y'all? Agons Fabrication and some. Hey, listen, we're um, sitting here working on this stair uh, dial indicator. I've got her apart right now. Um, we're going to clean this up a little bit right here. I got the spring in the alcohol right now, clean it up. Um, but we're going to clean this up with some alcohol as well. Um, the only bit of alcohol I have right now is what's in this container with this. Okay. Good. Good. She looks like he's nice. Maybe. Okay, now we're nice. them down now for this we're set there for well no, no, I don't want to set it that way uh, we'll set it like this really now. okay now what I want to do is Apply a little bit of good, yeah. We fumbling like that now. Yeah. Right, let's let that sit on there for a minute. And in the meantime, I like to take. Some of this here brass up a little bit. It looks like we might got some little bit of uh, sticky stuff in there. Sticky stuff. Sticky stuff will interfere what we're doing here. Okay, not bad there. Um, I'm going to hit the microscope now. Okay. See about maybe cleaning the dial on just the hair here.
That's all I want. I just want to be able to see it a little bit here. If that would be possible. I don't need it to be, you know, like perfect or anything like that by any means. I just want it to be legible and uniform as possible. Not too big. I think that looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's sit that like that for the moment. I don't like to sit that down like that, but I don't have... Side of that out, right? And then let's do this first. Back it's fabrication, then some. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back. Uh, we we're cleaning up a lens on a um, stair dial indicator. I uh, messed the video up a little bit, but we're going to start over again. Uh, I cleaned this up. You can see it's uh, pretty. Uh, fairly clean I don't want it to be super clean I want it to have some kind of age to it you know patina um my guy over at wristwatch revival he's the one who got me into this um I, I really admire his work I really watch his uh, I really pay it he's the one who really got me into all this so I figured if I couldn't do wristwatches yet I would try dial indicators and right now I'm just cleaning the lens I'm I'm bow jingling around uh, so let's uh, a little bit of erotico here and maybe we can hold this lens in place on the outside while we clean it I'm sure the inside of it's gonna be super dirty when we pull that erotico away but it'll hold it for now while we go and clean this bad boy up a little bit right now, let's uh, put a little bit of this. Uh, this is some poly watch, right? The poly watch is supposed to be for the lens, correct? Well, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get this uh, uh, poly watch to do the trick. I'm going to use my finger and spread it here. I don't want the paper towel to soak it up at all. I want it to stay on here. And we're going to let it sit for three minutes like it says. And make sure it's all the way around here. Hitting everything on the edges. Everything in between, nice and even. There we go. Nice and even. We're going to let that sit for three minutes. So, we've cleaned that. We've cleaned this. I would like to... Well, I'm going to wait until after I put this back into the barrel. I mean, the um, lens. i got to install the spring again to lock this back onto the front. Um, now, it, 
is a wave, so this is down. Okay, so we know that this is down. Right, there you go. Okay. So we know that's the way our dial is supposed to set because of the barrel, the bat, the arrow in the back right there. Do you see the arrow pointing down? So we know that's down. So because we know that's down, well, we oh excuse me, <laughs> we know which way's up. So there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna set this back down for a moment, right there. I don't have a watch holder, you know, big enough that'll actually hold that dial, I don't think. This may actually, I actually had a uh, dial in there, but this actually might, I don't know. I will say I didn't try, like I probably should have, but I also assumed, well, I assumed that it wouldn't. So, can't beat me down with that, Rion. That's just about as far open as, as this is getting. So, no, it's not going to fit in there. But we can just set it on top of there to make it a comfortable workplace and safe. You know, that's made to, for, dial, for uh, dials and stuff. So, we'll just set it on there and make sure that she's safe. There we go. Now, uh, some things I'd like to do is I would definitely like to oil it up a little bit here.
Oh, y'all. So far, so good. It's um, not perfect, but so far, so good. Let's uh, bring you back in a minute here. All right, y'all. Welcome back. Well, we got the dial indicator and the springs back in it again. We've oiled up our uh, little movements here. Let's uh, let's get our indicator here, and we are gonna figure out how we can go about putting her back together. Uh oh. That's pretty cool though. At least we got that. Right, there we go. Nice. So let's get our screwdriver here. back in here try to anyway Well, no sticking at all. She's a smooth operator there. Put this here back on. tighten and tighten it yet but at least I can so hard to get here at your fingertips man
Mm. Fingers always fall asleep on me, man, from having to work up high like that. Boy, I tell you what, I couldn't even see that before. Well, you see it perfectly, and we got a smooth movement. I mean, fresh from steric movement, baby. Look at that. So... I hope y'all are happy with what you got. And then look at the consistency. See that? If you touch it, if you let it tap, it goes from plus to minus. That's pretty cool. So anyway... Atkins Fabrication, and then some, uh, working on learning some new stuff here. I told you I was going to be getting into it, uh, and we're going to be getting deeper into it as we go along. I got other dial indicators that need to be done, um, and maybe along the line, just maybe, because, I mean, I really like messing with stuff like this, small stuff like this, and I didn't even get to taking it, to get into taking it all the way apart yet. And it goes a little bit deeper than that, but I ear I oiled up all the um. They're not root. They're not jewels in there. They're all just um, axles. So axles and gears. That's it. So I just oiled up all the axles and gears with, with um, Mobis eight thousand, which is a watch oil, a synthetic watch oil, and it will. This it should keep it running for. A long time coming. Right now, the Mobis 8000 is all I can afford, y'all. Um, so, this is the size of the bottle of the Mobis 8000, and that was 10 bucks. Other ones are about the same size, and some of them are 50 bucks a watt. So, um, if you don't have a demand for it, there's no need in it, right? If I'm not making money off of it, I'm not buying no crazy stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I, I'm already taking major steps in supplying things like that. I mean, I got an electronic microscope, you know. Um, I got uh, I got watch, watch tools, watchmaker tools, uh, repair, watchmaker repair tools and, and watchmaker tools. Thanks to, I'm learning on work, uh, I'm, I'm learning on how to do um, jewelry, uh, uh, rings, you know, um... I'm very proud of my wife. Um, my wife is in recovery also, and um, she quit drinking, and I'm very proud of her for that. Um, so one of my goals is is that if if I can make it right between me and her, if we can make it right between one another, you know, I'd like to ask her to marry me again, but I'd like to give her a wedding ring that I made myself. You know what I mean? Like, I think that would be a little more special. And plus, I've never given my wife a wedding ring before. I've given her an engagement ring once, but I've never given her a wedding ring yet. So, we, we, wasn't, along, we wasn't together long enough to be able to do that. You know what I mean? So, now we are uh, talking as friends. And um, hopefully, we can get back to a place that we need to be, God willing. 
if that's what God wills. If not, then so be it. I, you know, we, we, our daughter just had two loving parents. That's all. Uh, that's why I also need Atkins Fabrication to work because I need it. You know, I'm 46, man. I need this to get going. And I need it to get going now. And if I can get it going now, then I can leave my girl something. And Joanne's girls and, and, and my stepson, Brayden, you know, my, my stepdaughters and my stepson, I can leave them all something. And that's what I want to do. They're my babies, too. I love them very much. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe in the... I believe in karma. I love my wife and I love my kids. Their father passed away and I told them I'd be there and I wanted to be there more than I was, but, I, you know, they didn't want me there. They took their mom's side and that was their choice and, you know, um, that's the choice their mother gave them and I, 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 I'm not their daddy to argue with it, but I'll, I told them that I will always be there and I will. I'll never turn my back on them. I love them very much. It, I just give them the space that they need. You know, they heard from losing their father as well, and I'm not about to push me down their throat. So, well, anyway, with that being said, I got to do a whole hooky do good nothing. Uh, not nothing to y'all. I mean, it's, you know, it's everything to me, though. But, so, with that being said, I want to say this. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully we're still around to get that ring made. Maybe a, maybe a princess cut. Or... I like the big uh, rectangle square, like baguette stones. You know what I mean? Like the big... I think they're called princess cut. But... That's what I like, and that's what I'd like to get for my wife, like a one carat princess cut, and inlay it with round diamonds going around, or baguettes going around it, and then maybe um, a half carat round on each side, oh man. I started drawing the ring. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> that's, that's where my mind goes. I'm sorry. I literally started drawing it right here on this uh, padding thing. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Atkins Fabrication and then someone covered, kept it under 30 minutes. Thank y'all for watching, man. I'll try to edit this out, but I can't guarantee you nothing. You know, I ain't an edit master here. I give you what I, I, give you what I got, mistakes and all. I love y'all, man. Thanks for tuning in again, Atkins Fabrication and some amount. What's happening, y'all? Atkins Fabrication and some. Hey, listen, we're um, sitting here working on this stair uh, dial indicator. I've got her apart right now. Um, we're going to clean this up a little bit right here. I got the spring in the alcohol right now, clean it up. Um, but we're going to clean this up with some alcohol as well. Um, the only bit of alcohol I have right now is what's in this container with this. And we got...
Okay. Now we're nice. down now for this we're gonna set there for well no, no, I don't want to set it that way uh, we'll set it like this really okay now what I want to do is Apply a little bit of oh, yeah. we fumbling like that now. Right, let's let that sit on there for a minute. And in the meantime, I like to take. Some of this here branch up a little bit. It looks like we might got some little bit of uh, sticky stuff in there. Sticky stuff. Sticky stuff will interfere what we're doing here. Okay, not bad there. Um, I'm going to hit the microscope now. Okay. See about maybe cleaning the dial on just the hair here. That's all I want. I just want to be able to see it a little bit here. If that would be possible. I don't need to be, you know, like perfect or anything like that by any means. I just want it to be legible and uniform as possible. Too big. I think that looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's sit that like that for the moment. I don't like to sit that down like that, but I don't have. Let's clean. 
slide that out. All right, and then let's do this first. <laughs> 